In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up the environment for the workshop. This will be helpful if you are an instructor giving a workshop to a group of engineers or if you are by yourself trying out the hands-on labs. To get started, let's visit the Cloud Native Toolkit website. Um, click on workshop and uh, you will see the overview of the different tasks. So we're going to go to set up the environment, workshop environment. You can, uh, you will need a OpenShift cluster. We're going to install the toolkit and we're going to set up the workshop. Uh, you can use a, a toolkit supports clusters um, in IBM Cloud and also on-premises or any cloud uh, as long as it's OpenShift supported version. Um, here you can see some of the options. Uh, IBM Cloud offers a free cluster for a few hours. Um, you can use one to deploy with your own account using the toolkit and the Terraform tiles on, on IBM Cloud VPC2. Uh, you can also find instructions on how to install OpenShift in other multi-cloud environments. And there's also an option if you are an IBMer and have access to the IBM internal network you'll be able to use our free uh, one-click deployment uh, using the, the CSP lab. So I'm going to show um, a cluster using a deployment using a free cluster on IPN Open Labs and another cluster uh, deploy using VMs on, on premises on a private network. So let's try the first one. Uh, I'm going to open the Open Labs one. This is the one that is free for a few hours. Um, go ahead and select uh, the lab that says bring your own application uh, click the launch lab and it should take a few uh, seconds to assign an openshift cluster to your ibm account and you uh, can use a free ibm cloud account or standard account doesn't matter the cluster will be available for um, for hours and you can increase that up to eight hours. Um, just if you want to run a workshop for a whole day, uh, you can do that. It allows you to run multiple labs. So this is the interface to the OpenShift um, cluster. Um, the first thing we want to do is, um, this is the architecture. You'll be logging in into IBM Cloud. It's running an OpenShift cluster. And if you go to quick clicks and um, Common commands, you can open the OpenShift console here in a new tab. And this is, um, if you're not already logged in into IBM Cloud, uh, it will ask you for your username and password or to sign up. I already uh, signed in, so I'm logging in with my, my IBM Cloud account. So this is my my cluster. It has it's a two-node cluster, and this is what we're going to do to use to run the workshop. If we return back on uh, the Open Labs, um, you can scroll down to find the login uh, to this cluster using the OC CLI. Um, at this point, we don't need these two windows, so you can hide them using the interface. So hide the outline, hide the, the content. Um, and then in here, you will be able to run the, the commands. Return to the set up the workshop environment, the Cloud Native Toolkit uh, website. And then uh, the second step is install the Avian Cloud Native Toolkit. Uh, copy that uh, CLI command and say, we're going to be using the quick install. There's other options to customize the installation, but for purpose of the workshop, we made it easy. So one click install, copy that, and then return to the terminal that you're already logged in. Um, you can run OC, uh, who am I? And see, this is the IB, my IBM account that is logged in. I'm a, uh, logged in as an admin. I have admin permissions and cluster admin on this cluster. So I'm going to paste the command to install the toolkit that this will um, run a, a job inside the cluster and install the toolkit. This uh, will take less than 10 minutes. So I will uh, fast forward uh, the video and return back when it's, when it's done. Now that the toolkit is installed, return to the workshop uh, webpage to get the next step. The next step is set up the IBM Cloud Native Toolkit uh, workshop environment. This is customizations and installing a Git server inside the OpenShift to be used in the hands-on uh, labs. 
copy that command, the CLI command for the workshop, return back to the terminal, and then um, you can paste that command in. So I'll paste that in and then press enter. The command will run a, a script that will configure the cluster and customize the toolkit to run the workshop hands-on lab. This usually takes less than 10 minutes, so I will fast forward the video um, and return back. Now that the toolkit is installed, return back to the workshop environment setup page for the next step. Now, this step is optional to do it this way. I recommend it if you're using the IBM Cloud Shell or the Open Labs Shell. Um, if you're using your local computer, uh, you might as well install the, the CLI, the toolkit CLI by itself, and um, you, you should be good. For our, in our case, we'll install the uh, Cloud Shell. So copy the command for the shell environment. Uh, go back to the terminal and paste the command to install. And this will set up uh, Node.js, install the CLI. Uh, the toolkit CLI provides plugins for kubectl and OCCLI that would be uh, used during the workshop hands-on labs. So hit enter and to start the process. And this should take um, less than, than five minutes. So I will fast forward um, the video. Now that the CLI is, is set up and complete, let's verify the installation of the toolkit and the setup of the workshop using the OpenShift console uh, user interface. So let's go to the console. And this is our uh, uh, OpenShift cluster. If you verify here in the uh, right uh, top corner, um, you will not see it. Uh, the tools, if you don't see them, it means that you have to refresh the browser. So let me refresh the browser. And then now uh, we should see the Cloud Native Toolkit section with the tools that the toolkit install. For example, Argo CD, our refactory, a developer dashboard, uh, Git server, Pat Broker, SonarCube, and Swagger Editor. The, the, the workshop install uh, an internal Git server called GOGS and so on. Uh, all these tools are installed in one namespace, so the toolkit only uses one tools. Uh, by default, the name is tools, but it, that can be customized. So you go to projects and select uh, find the tools um, namespace or project, you will see that uh, under workloads, you will see the, the different tools that are installed that will be using during the, the workshop uh, DevOps uh, hands-on labs. Uh, so for example, Argo, Artifactory, SonarCube, Pack Broker, uh, Swagger Editor, and all these tools are available there. So you're ready to uh, start using the CLI and the console and go through the different uh, workshops that we have in uh, the website. So starting from the CI pipelines using Tekton and following with continuous deployment, continuous delivery using GitOps and with Argo CD. Um, the next section, we'll, I'm going to show installing the toolkit on an OpenShift cluster. Um, we'll go through the same process. I'm going to show installing the toolkit, pro, uh, the toolkit and setting the workshop on an OpenShift cluster that is located and deployed on premises using VMs on a private network. So that is a similar process, a little bit of uh, difference in terms of uh, logging in. In this section, I'm going to show how to install the toolkit and the workshop environment on an OpenShift cluster that is not located in IBM Cloud. In this case, I'm going to be using a cluster that is uh, on-premises using VMs on a private network. Um, so from the main page on the Cloud Native Toolkit, uh, go to Workshop, go to Setup Workshop Environment, and the first thing is to get an OpenShift cluster. I already had one uh, deployed internally inside IBM um, in the VPN, and this is uh, running in VMs. Um, uh, on premises. This is this is the cluster. 
uh, what we want to do first is log in um, in the terminal CLI using the OCCLI as an, as, as an admin. Typically, keep admin is one account, but you can use any cluster admin account to install the toolkit. Um, so one way to do it is you can go and grab the cop copy login command page, um, login as cube admin or cluster admin. Uh, so we'll go type in my, my username and password in here and login and that will give me uh, my CLI command. Or if I already know the uh, username and password, I can uh, put that in my terminal. So let me get my terminal. and then paste the command in here. I don't know it should, it should be in. So let me zoom in. Um, if I do OC, who am I? It will show that I'm cube admin. So uh, the next step is to install the IBM uh, Cloud Native Toolkit. Uh, we're going to use the quick install. There's also a way to customize it using Terraform. Um, in this case, I'm just going to do the uh, inside the cluster with a job um, running the installation process. So copy and paste the CLI command in here and press enter. Uh, this uh, process is very quick. It should take less than 10 minutes. So I'm going to uh, fast forward the video and we'll pick it up from there. Now with the toolkit installed, let's move to the next step, which is in setting up the workshop. We're going to be using a the one line uh, command. So copy that line and then go ahead and paste it in the terminal. Still uh, logged in as a cluster admin in my OpenShift cluster. This would take less than five minutes, uh, so I will fast forward. Now that the workshop is uh, finished installing, the next step is to install the CLI. I'm not going to use the the, this uh, shell configuration because I'm not going to be using the IBM Cloud shell or the Open Labs shell or like a like a VM Linux um, shell I'm using uh, my own workstation. So the minimum setup will be the toolkit CLI. So if you go to target CLI, there's a command in here to install the, the CLI using NPM. So you have to make sure that you have a node configure in your um, computer and a, a ability to install NPM packages globally uh, using something like NVM or Node Version Manager. So um, I'm going to copy the command and paste it here. This should take maybe uh, one minute to install. And we will have the IGC CLI. Uh, the IGC CLI installation, what it does also installs uh, plugins for kubectl and OpenShift CLI, OC CLI. So be leveraging um, the toolkit CLI through uh, plugins. But you can always check the version uh, like you see in the documentation here and also uh, invoking the, the help uh, to see what are the uh, other convenience um, CLIs. So this is um, installed now. Um, and we'll move on to the next step in the workshop setup, uh, which is very fine. So we're done installing the workshop. Let's go to our um, OpenShift cluster, um, cluster. And one thing to verify the toolkit install is under the menu. Um, if you don't see it there, refresh the console. So um, the menu gets refreshed. And then you can click in here and you will see the tools installed by the toolkit, Argo, Artifactory, Developer Dashboard, the workshop configure a Git server uh, internally, um, the image registry shortcut, uh, which is inside this cluster, Pat Broker, Sonar Cube, and Swagger A. All these tools are installed in the tools namespace. So if you go to projects, um, tools, 
and you see workloads. Um, these tools are installed in the tools namespace and that's also configurable. Um, we will not be installing apps in this namespace. Each user will be creating their own project or namespace. So user one, uh, the workshop created 15 user accounts for OpenShift and also for the Git server. The, um, so let's use one of those users to, to see how um, you yourself as an instructor or the attendees will be using it. So at this point you can log out um, from the console and what you can do here is um, now you see that there's an IBM Toolkit HD Pass uh, WD local authentication. So if you log in here and all the users will be logging here, use IBM Toolkit. Um, and then users will be uh, using the account user one or user two, user three. Um, I recommend the instructor just grab user one. Um, and the password is the work password. And again, you can modify the password later uh, or now uh, if you want for, for the users. So, but for the benefit of running the labs, um, the, the username and password is the same for all the users um, is password, just plain text password uh, login. Now you will see that the users only have access. So user one will have access to uh, projects or namespaces that start with project one. So let me zoom in here. Project one, user two will have access to projects that start with project two, prefix, uh, user three, and, and so on. Um, so. The, in this case, um, this is an environment that you will have for with developers. So you maybe as an SRE or an operations or admin person with managing the cluster, but you will give uh, to other users access uh, only to the namespaces that they create uh, or certain namespaces that you created. So that's an example of setting up the workshop and the development environment. Um, in the CLI, the user will log in as user one. So you can copy the command from here. Um, for example, uh, again, log in again, password, and this will give you that uh, access token. You can you can do it this way and log in, and then uh, you are logged in as user one. So if you do OC, who am I? You will see that I'm user one. You can also do OC login dash you, um, user, user one or user two. Um, and then the password is password um, and you can log in like that. So it's very convenient. So the scripts that we're going to be using in the work, workshop hands-on uh, leverage this. So I'll show a little bit of that, um, but there will be another video that goes deep explaining. So for example, the first workshop, um, each user will be assigned a, a user so they can come in here and um, set an environment variable that will be used for the rest of the commands. Uh, they can log in uh, with their username like I did. Uh, so this is very easy to run a workshop with a, a couple of, of people going through the exercises. Um, and then user one should be using project one as a prefix. Uh, user two uh, should be using project two, and user three, project three. So um, every user should have their own account so they can experience uh, the development workflow uh, on their own. Um, so this is just uh, the beginning of, of that. And then this is uh, an example of how to test uh, IGC Toolkit CLI. You can create a new project uh, using OC Sync. So in this case, this will create a project called project1-dev and copy the config maps and secrets from the tools namespace uh, that are needed to run DevOps pipeline using the different tools. So the config maps and secrets are used, leveraged by the pipelines to access the different tools as it goes through the pipeline. So I'll stop here and this is a way you can, I just show how to install the toolkit and set up the workshop in two different uh, OpenShift clusters. One is in public cloud and another one is on premises, private cloud. And uh, this is the end uh, of this demo of the workshop.